Hello and welcome to this lecture. In this lecture, we are going to learn about if else statement. So, decision making is really important concept. If you want to just navigate to the certain portion of a code and if you want to execute that based on the condition that is to be satisfied. So, let's see how this if else work. So, the basic condition over here is if certain condition is uh, performed or basically if the certain condition is true then certain portion of the work or certain code will be executed otherwise it won't work so the flow will be going or navigated from one side to another based on that decision so we have already learned how to make the logic which is basically by the comparison operator we have made the logic like 3 is greater than 5 if this is true which is obviously false this is false that means we are making the condition over here so if it is true then certain portion will work so something like if if 3 is greater than 5 certain portion will be this portion or this code will be executed or or this code will be executed that is inside here or this code will be executed so something like this is the condition if this is true this par portion of code will work if if it is if 9 is greater than 0 if this is the condition then this part of code will work or this part will of code will work so this is basically your condition or a decision making so let's make or let's create one program to see if this if else work in the python or not so first of all let's see the syntax so first of all you see if which is all in lower case so this is to start with the if condition and you pass the condition inside this parenthesis so i'll just say condition and you give this colon here and after that you pass the code that is to be executed inside here else which is basically if this condition is false else part will work that means the code inside this else will work so let's see the condition now or basically let's create one program to see so let's create a program to check if the number is positive or negative so let's see that so first of all instead of just giving the number let's see number and input that number from the user so I'll say enter your number for the user and this is the message for the user and I'll just say enter this and the next thing is to check so I'll just say if number is so if you see here in this input you should get some idea that I have already told in the previous lecture but I'll just um, put here on notice for you because we'll see how this error will be executed or basically how we'll get error from here in the minute but let's make a condition right now so okay what i just did so i'll just say number is greater than zero which is basically the positive sense we just get the condition as positive so i'll just say print number or you can also format it so i'll just say format is positive and we know how to format using this format method and I'll just pass here the number that is entered from the user so let's close this print statement else if it is the case which is the negative case so I'll just say is negative and let's format this string using the same number that is entered from the user let's see if this works or not so you just get the basic idea we are just making the condition here taking the number from the user and we are checking with this condition which is the comparison operator saying that if it is greater than zero which is basically the positive number we are formatting here that number is positive basically number is here value value is positive else value will be negative a simple logic over here let's save this but this is not going to work so let's see how this is not going to work so first of all enter your number 76 if I say 76 press enter it is saying this comparison operator is not supported between instances of a string and integer so what does that mean because 
you are seeing here that this part is getting error why that is getting the error because we are just comparing here the number which is a string with this zero so i've already told you before that if you see if you go over here and if you just input anything from the user let me say the name or uh, basically the age okay and if i say input and if i input something like 67 and if you see the type of this is it is not going to be the integer it is going to be the string so what we just did here was we just compared the string that is the number enter from the user with the zero which is the integer so we cannot compare a string with the integer so we have to convert this string which is entered but it will be entered as a number but that will be converted to the string by this input method so let's convert this first into the integer which is by this int method let's convert it first and let's see if this works or not so let's save this first press f5 now let's enter the number let's say negative of 2 let's hit enter and negative 2 is negative obviously it is negative so let's do one more time let's save this press f5 let's see 6 which is positive so 6 is positive let's save this again press f5 and if i hit 0 again it is saying 0 is negative so 0 is not negative okay 0 is basically 0 it is the neutral number but it is giving us 0 is negative we have to have another condition now so what we are doing here is we are just checking for the 0 if it is greater or 0 or if it is not but we are not checking if it is equal to 0 or not that means we have to put another condition over here which can be done with this elif it is different from other programming language so normally we put here else if but in the case of python it should be elif otherwise it is not going to be run so let's pass elif and now i'll say number that is entered from the user is equal equal zero if it is the case what you are going to do it will print simply number is zero no need to format let's save this press f5 let's see if this works it is positive let's see let's press f5 press zero again and number is zero now so we are just adding another condition to make the decisions so if else statement is a conditional statement that is going to execute the part of a code based on the decisions or based on the conditions that it has met or not if this part is true this code will be executed you can do different thing over here you can print hey you can print everything anything will be executed over here anything you pass here will be executed if i save this press f5 if i just give the positive number you can see the code inside that field has been executed six is positive cool and everything has been printed that means if this condition is met this part of code will be executed and all the part which is after this won't be executed because it is just giving us the flow control based on these conditions so this is the important conditional statement in the next lecture we will learn about the looping which is the another flow control method see you in the next one